Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys yet again another Revenant loot video and this video was actually one of the last ones that I did record before the new loot key update. So in this video you guys will see if any PKs do occur that all of the opponent's items will be dropping to the ground instead of in the form of a key which will go directly into your inventory but fear not in my next uh, loot video which is of course in the Revenant Caves again. Uh, you guys will see that tomorrow night and there you will see all the loot keys that I have gotten so far. Really the goal for this video is to test the profit at the Revenant Dark Beast uh, for 10 hours. We're going to be unskulled the whole entire time. Of course we'll have a decent anti-PKing setup and we're going to be trying to find as many bosses as we can to kill them alongside these Revenant Dark Beasts. And at the end of the 10 hours we're going to price check overall how much we made, how much we lost from deaths and everything like that. Uh, hopefully you experience some PKers and get some anti-PKs. That is why we brought out the Armadillo Godsword and the Dark Bow combination. And that's simply why I decided to not scold throughout this whole video because uh, I'd be risking way too much and I've lost quite a few plus ones in the last month so I gotta be very careful these days. I do want to say I apologize that this video took so long to get out there. I've stockpiled four really good and really long videos. This is actually the shortest one of them all. Um, I've spent over 100 hours at the Revenant Caves um, including a 24 hour straight uh, stream recently there and I've made a full return on Twitch um, so yeah I've been live streaming almost every single day and uh, it's kind of really made me slack on the YouTube videos but luckily I've stocked up and now I'm going to be releasing these videos every day for the next four days while I'm getting new footage for more videos specifically tomorrow I will be doing a 30 hour live stream and I imagine most of it will be in the wilderness again um, I was touching wilderness slayer a little bit this week but I gotta be honest there's there's so many clans there that Revenants just seems to be the way to go for now. But uh, either way, we are coming up on the very first hour at the Revenant Dark Beasts here. Uh, gave you guys a full update, so hopefully I answered any question there. And as it goes for the very first hour combined with the 1.5 mil that we made from the boss, uh, we did make 5.4 million in our first hour here. And that is all unskulled in the 2200 total level worlds with pretty much zero interruptions. Now this was the only hour that I actually did did spend in the 2200 at total level world so I can't really vouch that they are safe but I can say that the Revenant Dark Beast definitely is safe to kill. Uh, seeing as that you're always in 30 wild especially if you're using the crossbow to distance yourself which makes it so that PKers have a very hard time to kill you because they have to time that tele block right when you click on 31 wild to pick up your drop so you know if you bring tele grab or something then virtually you're always safe here if you're in 30 wild ready to teleport at any time. This is actually why I haven't really killed the Dark Beast much in my days because uh, I personally try to find PKers, I try to get some anti-PKing clips for you all, and also I kind of practice my clicks at the same time. Um, I've learned that, you know, through the last month, I think I'm getting a little bit better at defending myself and PKing with timing and whatnot, but I think my problem is I just get caught up in the moment and I start misclicking and panicking and then, you know, the DPS that they are giving out to me is much higher than I'm giving out to them, so it's always a battle. I always kind of feel overwhelmed, but, you know, that's that's what makes it so exciting. So, I don't know, maybe one day I'll get tired of fighting max mages and people in the uh, crystal armor with all the best DPS, but for now I consider it really good practice. And coming up on our second hour, I was currently at 9.4 million profit, so not quite another 5 mil hour, but almost. And then I ran into this mystic mage, I was trying my best to kill him, um, I really thought I clicked on my AGS at that point, but I guess I misclicked. And he went from being semi AFK to not AFK anymore, and after a very long fight, and his dragon dagger failing multiple times there. I just kind of walked away with that lovely agility shortcut. So shout out to that shortcut. It does save many, many lives. And here we have a dark bow spec that almost got me a 20 mil plus PK, but keyword being almost. I gotta be honest, the amount of times that this dark bow has almost gotten me a kill in the last uh, couple weeks is remarkable. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of almost kills and a lot of definite kills throughout uh, this video and of course all of the the future ones to come. But yeah, I had so many close calls, especially with the Armadillo God Sword, and uh, a lot of my deaths in this video were just really bad luck, honestly. I was kind of sitting at low HP a lot of the time in these fights, and I would just really just die, you know? Yeah, you really can't uh, sugarcoat that one. It's just a lot of deaths, and um, I actually kind of started a collection, though, of every single person that I've killed so far. I've collected the Dragon Crossbows, so yeah, I got 28 of those right now, so you guys are uh, going to definitely be seeing a lot of those Dragon Crossbows 
crossbow PKs in the uh, future videos. And as it goes for this one, uh, the Revenant Dark Beast really was what I was prioritizing for those 10 hours. And anytime I would run to bank, you know, or run to find boss kills, that's really when I would run into these PKers, uh, whether it be the same person or not. Um, with, when you're live streaming revs, a lot of the time people will see what world you're in and they really just want to fight. So, I mean, I guess it's good because I'm getting the wilderness just a little bit more active and I'm getting some fights for myself. But, you know, if you die most of the time, then that's not a good thing. So, yeah, I do like the variety, though, of people in Black Dehyde, people in Mystic, um, people with Vengeance, and then, of course, the Tribrids and Hybrids. That will always uh, make it so that, you know, you're going to die many different ways, whether it's from Claws, uh, Ancient God Sword, or anything, really. And speaking of the Ancient God Sword, yet again, another good spec there. See, why can't my Ancient God Sword ever hit a 57? I gotta say, the Blood Special Attack is really great, but uh, never really does hit too high for me. I guess it's because I always wear an Archer Helm. But yeah, I've got a nice kill there with a Dark Bow, and uh, shortly after that, I did run into a Snakeskin Bandana PKer. And one Special Attack that I did not mention was uh, the Granite Maul, so luckily for them, it did not work out, but we did get a double death there, and I got back uh, before them, so I was able to pick up both of the loots, which was really good, because, you know, it's not fun to lose money here. And to my surprise, actually, after I banked and came back, I did manage to get an Ancient Effigy, which is 8 million GP, and this is just astronomical odds, because I was unscold. You do get uh, better odds when you're scold here, and actually, in my next inventory, I got a back-to-back -back statue on the very next kill. This one was only 1 mil, but that's just incredible that I've gotten most of my Revenant drops, especially the statues, all when I was unscold, rather than being scold. And I think just the fact that the very first two hours I was averaging almost five mil an hour just on scold, I think that really goes to show that you don't need to risk everything here and be scold to make good money here. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're an anti pk or a main, or an Iron Man. I think the numbers really do show it for themselves. As long as you have a crossbow and your DPS is solid, um, this is, can be really good money per hour. Like I said before, almost earning a bond every single hour. One guy recently in my stream showed me a picture of 3,000 Revenant Dark Beasts that he killed, and it only took him about three days to do, and well over 100 mil profit was made. So you can make a lot of money at these Revenant Caves, especially if you're just prioritizing the PVMing and not the PKing. I know a lot of people watch these videos, and they really just care about the revs and the rev loot itself, but the PKing to me kind of keeps things a little bit more interesting, a little fresh, and you always have that chance to get a very big PK. Uh, you guys are just seeing multiple close calls, even in just this video. So with a little bit more luck and a little bit more DPS, I know that on top of all of the 3 to 5 mil hours that I'm having at revs, I can also have a nice little 20 mil PK in the background eventually. And again, that will pay for all of the deaths, um, because each death does cost me around about 1 million GP on average. And that's just with a basic dehyde setup, that risk does go up if I uh, have better defense bonus. And as we are coming to a close, getting close to the price check here, a couple more deaths, of course. Did die uh, quite a few times during the making of this video. I think the overall loss in deaths was just about 6 million GP. But seeing that lovely ancient statuette on the ground at a current price of 2 million means that yet again we have added another statue to the bank. I mean, I think we have seven emblems just in those and God, so many more. So yeah, a lot of money was made. Another boss kill. Lately, I really haven't been prioritizing the boss as much as I have seen myself do in this video, but gosh, the money that you can make if you actually do hop quite a bit of worlds around and you try to really find it as quickly as possible. Just putting that out there, always make sure to go out of your way to kill the boss. It is a little dangerous, but man, the one mil guarantee every single time almost is really worthwhile. So yet again, we did kill another welfare risker. I apologize that uh, you've seen a couple of the same usernames throughout this video, but uh, yeah, just again, kind of people just watching the stream and seeing the world and whatnot coming on down trying to kill me most of them being successful. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished 10 hours of killing the Revenant Dark Beast. Uh, so many statues, so many great drops. We are now going to price check the normal drops, and then we're going to go ahead and price check the rare drops. From the very first price check, this is all of the normal stuff. One does come out to be just about 12.3 million, and then we move on to the second price check. This is all of the statues and whatnot, and all of this does come out to be just about 20 mil. It's probably one of the first times that I 
have made more money from the statues than the normal loot in 10 hours, and if you combine the price of the bracelets and all the food and resource drops, it uh, looks like we made just about 38.2 mil from 10 hours of Revenant Dark Beast. This is a little preview for next video, but minusing the cost of supplies, the overall profit from this video was roughly 33 million, so that is still 3 mil an hour, ladies and gentlemen, and it doesn't get much better than that. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video and I'll see you tomorrow night and until then Mr. No Sleep out.